Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 challenge. Thanks so much for coming by. Today is day 23 of the challenge and another red day for me. That's okay. I'm extra motive for Monday. Kept the loss very small today. I was very close to it being green, but um, I made a mistake. So there you have it. Minus 10% on the day. I made five trades, break even, minus 77%, and that's the mistake. I'll go into that. Minus 20%, plus 83%, and break even again. So, as you can see, a little bit of everything today for me. But uh, I'm very excited to go into next week, extra motivated, and uh, so grateful for everyone who's watching. So, anyways, without further ado, let's dive right into this. Trade number one was a 426 call I got for $7.00 at 10:25, and I hopped out basically immediately so I got in and I had a bad gut feeling which is why I got out basically immediately but um and why I had a bad feeling was because it already ran so much and I watched it run and I was like ah I had to be doing other things at the time so I couldn't quite hop in right here and so I had a bit of FOMO and then as soon as I got in I just did not have a good feeling about it and so I sold it almost immediately for break even and um and I was break even pretty quick. So another great thing about trading the book so closely is is getting it out at the same price you got in almost immediately because of those times like that. So I saw that I could get in and out quickly and that's exactly what I did. So FOMO got me there and then it got me again about um twenty minutes later I got the four twenty six call again at nine dollars when I saw it looked like it wanted to rip through four sixteen. And I was hoping for a move, if you look back a little bit, for it to hit 418 like it did yesterday. So I was looking for it to come back up to that, but did not want it. And you can see a very wild day. So I don't think the market liked the jobs report that came out. So that's a whole nother topic, but that's why I did that. So I got in there and then I decided to hold that as a basically a hedge for my next position, which was the 400 put. I got at $5.00. Got it at right here at 10.50, and then I got out, I believe, right here, yes, at 11.16. So it looked like the market wanted to reverse on me, so I decided to cut that put And while I was still holding this initial call here. And at the time, it was bouncing around $7, $8, so um, actually maybe even a little higher. It was probably around $8, $9, so I was just below break even for most of the time when I was holding it up here in this area. And then... um. Next trade was the 402 put. I got that at six for six dollars at 11.40. You can see my entry right here. So once I saw the market look like it wanted to turn around, I decided to take that put position, and again still holding that call, which I should have just sold that thing, got it out of my life. So that was a mistake I I made today. So I broke a rule. It was over 50 percent. Should have cut it when it was more like 40, and you know, I'm extra motivated to not break any rules next week. So rules are important. They're not meant to be broken. I got in right here at 1140 and then I got a nice move on this one. I got out right here at 1309. So I held it for quite a while, about an hour and a half. And once I finally got that move I was looking for, I got out. I left a little bit on the table, but not much. And you can see the rest of the day it just chopped. So um, if I got more volatility, I could have probably gotten out of this trade with a profit or definitely less of a loss. But because this drop was so aggressive right here, it went from like around $6 or $5 to $2 in this, um, you know, 10 minute time frame. So um, at that point, I just decided to hold on to it while I was at two. I didn't want it to go to one, but it was at two. And so I was just waiting to see if the market wanted to come back up for 416 in the meantime, and it did not. Um, and so, yeah, I decided to eventually cut it. I took one more trade. Last trade of the day was the 399 put I bought at 1342 and then I got out after a while at break even. So, um, I was grateful to get out break even right there because the market was so choppy. Obviously I wanted to move on it, but did not quite get it. And so that's just the way it goes today. So kept the losses small, which is very important. And uh, I'm excited for next week to see what the market wants to do, see what direction we're going to head. You know, after the last couple of days of these wild moves, maybe we'll go back up to 419 or maybe we'll come back down. So I don't know. It's kind of fun to look. 
if you guys don't um, zoom out and look at the chart, I definitely encourage you to do that just to kind of get an idea of what you think it might do. You can see I have all these levels marked out as support and resistance. And uh, I might touch base on what I think the market will do next week on my recap video. But anyways, that's what I have for today. Again, it was red minus 10%. Not happy about it, but it is what it is. I'll make it back. It's all good. Oh. So anyways, that's all I have for today. And I hope you stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.